Welcome to Post Game with Paul, or maybe more accurately, Post Season with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes. The regular season's over and everything the girls' basketball teams in Northeast and North Central Nebraska have been working on all year comes down to these next three weeks. For most, it's win or go home, but for a number of the area's elite teams, they may have enough power points to lose in a sub-district and still qualify for a district final as a wild card. Starting with Class C1, West Point Beamer is 21-1 and and a heavy favorite in the C16 sub-district at Oakland Prey. 17-5 and O'Neill is the top seed at C-1-7 at Norfolk Catholic, but the Eagles will likely have to get past a solid Pierce team in the sub-district final to advance. Turning our attention now to Class C-2, top-ranked Crofton should have little trouble winning the C-2-8 sub-district in O'Neill. 18-3 and Oakland Craig heads to Pender for C-2-5. Assuming a semi-final win, the Knights will have a chore in the final, defeating either BRLD or West Point Guardian Angels. Arguably the most competitive of all of the area sub-districts is right here in Norfolk at Norfolk High, where top seed Clarkson Lee will likely have to get past a Norfolk Catholic team that's better than its 10-11 and 11 record indicates than either Stanton or Battle Creek in the finals. Both are capable of beating a good team. C27 at Wayne High looks interesting. Ponk is 21 and 2. Assuming a semi-final win, the Indians would be matched up with either Homer or Hardington Cedar Catholic, both good teams in Thursday's final. Moving to class D1, top-ranked Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family shouldn't have a lot of trouble winning its sub-district in Shelby. 20 and 4 Elkhorn Valley will be the favorite at D17 at Battle Creek, but the Falcons would likely have to defeat a solid Elgin Public Pope John team in the final. North Central begins defense of its state championship in the D18 sub-district at Creighton. It won't be easy. With a semifinal win, the Knights would have to square off with either 13-9 Boyd County or 15-7 Hardington Newcastle in the final. Finally to Class D2, where Humphrey St. Francis has the ingredients to make a run for a state championship. The Flyers should breeze through the D23 sub-district at Boone Central, where none of the other teams has more than five wins. Likewise, why not? Probably won't have to work up much of a sweat in D24 at Harding and Cedar Catholic, where the number two seed, Emerson Hubbard, has only seven wins. Finally, Chambers, Wheeler, Central, and Ewing appear to be on a collision course to meet in the finals of D25 at Atkinson West Hole. But first, the Tigers will have to take care of a solid Stewart team in the semis. All the sub-district semifinals are on Tuesday, with the finals on Thursday. The winners and wild cards will be assigned to play in district championship games, which will take place late next week, and we'll preview them right here at this time next week on Post Game with Paul.